What's up guys? Uh, welcome to your 20 second tutorial. Again, thanks for watching, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, telling your grandma about this, you know, channel, telling your friends, everything. I definitely appreciate it. And today we're just going to continue um, what we did with our wallpaper app. We'll be able to again scroll through, but now we're actually going to let these items down here change our display image view. So that's basically all we're doing. We still aren't going to have it set up to the phone yet. This button isn't going to do anything, but we can still click any of these items and it's just going to change our display up there. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to open our tutorial 3. And I forgot to mention that you guys hopefully picked up that you need to set your content view on the last video, but you know, whatever. And the first thing that we're going to do is we want to set up a pretty much a, a variable that we can use throughout everything within our tutorial 3 activity. So we're going to say image view and we're going to call this display because this is going to be our top image. And you also have to import image view. I've already done that. And then what we need to do is we need to set up all of our image views. And so this is going to be kind of repetitious. Uh, a lot of stuff in this tutorial is going to be repetitious so I'm probably going to cut out a lot of the stuff and just clip it and hopefully you'll be able to follow along as well but again we just need to first we're going to set up that display so we're going to say display equals parentheses image view and image view is obviously a view so we're going to say find view by id and r dot id dot image or image view display right there and we're gonna set it up to do anything yet we're just kinda you know making these variables uh, mean something then we're gonna set up a few more image views and we're just gonna call this one image one and it's gonna equal again pretty much same layout as this so I'm just gonna copy and paste that and change this to our first image reference Alright, must have not, oh yeah. Change it to IV image 1. There we go. And I'm just going to clip the video, but I want you guys to copy and paste and do that for all seven images or however many images you guys selected. Make sure you change your reference and also your variable. So like 2, 3, 4, 5 through 7. Alright, thanks. Alright, and we're back. Hope you guys didn't miss me as much as I miss you. And we're just going to get started here. So basically we set up our variables like we always do. And now we want them to do something. Like always, uh, when we use our on, or, well I guess not like always, but we're going to use the set on click listener. We've done it before with our buttons, but we kind of pretty much want these, I, these, uh, image views to be like buttons. So we're just going to say set on click listener. And also, I apologize for that last video. Um, audio was messed up, and I tried to like adjust the view on my camera so it would be more close up, but probably just gave you a seizure because I just got done recovering from that. I just watched that video. But yeah, we're going to say set on click listener. And like we used to do, we used to do new view dot on click listener. And then we'd set up, you know, our method in here. But that's going to be really sloppy and a lot of coding. So we're going to do it a little different way. Um, basically what we need to do is say this. And you're going, what? And so we need, basically what this is, is we're going to Im uh, implement that uh, interface, the on-click listener interface, up here. So we, don't have, so we can um, basically make our code look a little prettier. So basically you got to do implements view dot on click listener and basically now we're getting an error because it's saying we aren't using a method that we have to use because we're implementing it just like when we had set it up here it still give us an error so we had to implement that method on click so we're just going to hover over and add implemented methods and as you see it, it adds this method down here after our on create method. So basically when we use this, it's going to check what we're implementing, which is this method. So that's what I want you to do. Again, just copy and paste 
this and I probably won't clip the video because this takes like no time at all. And we're just going to change these to 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 6, 9. Alright. And uh, there we go. We got that set up. And every time we click any of these buttons, it's going to send it into this on click method. And it's going to kind of, uh, well, basically, that's all it's going to do right now. But now we can set up a switch case. So we're going to set up a switch case, um, little little doodad here. And what do we want our switch to look for? Well, we want it to look for what ID it's sending through. So we're going to say um, view because it's passing in this view. This is the variable we set up in the parameters here. So we're going to say view dot whatever, or this is it's looking at the view that's passing in. Uh, computers messed up here again, but um, and it's called get ID. I don't know if we've used this before. We might have, but it's going to call get ID, and basically it's going to get the ID or this reference right here, and that's what it's going to set this switch up for. So now we can set up our cases, and we're just going to go case r dot ID dot image one. So if we get image one, it's going to do this down here again. Um, this is kind of review, but that's how the switch case works. Pretty sweet stuff. And now what we have to do is we need to change our display. So since our display works for every method down within this activity, um, we can hit display and it'll know we're talking about the image view display that we set up. And then what we want to do is we want to set that image to our drawable resource. So we're going to say set. All right, good. Uh, set image resource is what it's called. And again, it takes an int, which will be r dot drawable dot. And then you got to make sure the image is the same image that we set up for our image one, etc. I'm sorry that I didn't really explain that earlier when we were setting up our images. But luckily I named this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's how I named mine. But you're going to have to make sure those line up and make sure it's from the drawable. Because you don't want to set this as an ID um, because it'll just you know mess it up. And then you just copy, paste. Oh, crap. Don't copy and paste yet. Hit break so it ends that little thing, that little case, that switch, that switch case, you know. And then just, you know, change this up to 2 and change this to the appropriate resource and your drawable. And it, I don't know why I copy the break. And basically you do that for all your images and we're good to go. I'm going to cut the video and just do that. All right, and we're back. Relabeled everything. And it should be working perfectly. And I'm getting some errors. Make sure you close off your statement. Wait, that's not right. Delete that for some reason. What am I thinking? Amateur. All right. So then we get... Uh, should be good to go. Let's check it out and I'll see you guys next tutorial. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and giving thumbs up. Whoa. And also, as this is loading, I'm probably going to do either like a preference, uh, show you guys how to use preferences, uh, or I'm going to probably get into animation because that's what everyone wants to do. That's what I want to do too, but I just kind of want to get some of this stuff out of the way before we get into all that animation stuff. All right, let's check this out. Yep, it looks like it's working. And there you go. Bam! See ya, ninjas.